Sometimes on social media, it can just feel like we are shouting into the void and posting to a black hole and no one is seeing our content. But social media is also a really great long-term strategy for building a loyal audience that you can get to your website, to your email newsletter. And so if you are interested in growing an author brand on social media, this video is going to share some practical tips with some really quick actionable engagement tips at the end of the video for you to continue to grow your platforms. If you are new here, my name is Shelby Lee. I am an author and I've grown my audience to over half a million followers on social media and book marketing by Shelby has now helped over 2000 clients and authors succeed on social media through my courses and guides and one-to-one -one work. And with hitting that 2000 customer mark, which is amazing, I am holding a 20% off sale this week only. So if you are seeing this video the week that it comes out, Monday through Thursday is when the sale is going to be. If you want to get on my email list to make sure that you don't miss out on the sale and get a great deal on my book marketing guides and courses, I will link my freebie in the description so you can get on my email list and hear about this sale that I'm running because you won't want to miss it. Let's get into the tips. Tip number one for growing your author brand on social media is going to be focusing on your reader. When you think about why people go on social media, it's often for entertainment or value to relax after a long day. There are so many different reasons why we might go on social media, but seeing fun, relatable, entertaining content is definitely one of them. So you always wanna focus on that in everything that you create. Think about your reader and think about how you might react if you saw your post in your feed from somebody else. Take a look at your content from an outside perspective and ask yourself what value it is giving before you hit post. And that doesn't mean that everything has to be educational or giving tips to your audience, but some sort of entertainment or personal connection or relatability can be really, really helpful with this. The second tip, if you've noticed that your growth has slowed or you're not seeing the growth that you would like to see, think about different ways that you can switch up your content. If you're posting a lot of static images, maybe you try more reels or more TikTok videos. If your TikTok videos aren't working well, brainstorm some hooks that you can use at the beginning of your video or try the photo carousels that are growing in popularity on TikTok as well. There are so many different ways that we can change up our content and see if something else might be working better now than what has been working well for you in the past, but maybe has slowed down. And quick caveat, I just want to say, as I'm talking about this growth, we also want it to be the right people. Growing to thousands or hundreds of thousands of followers really isn't beneficial if it's our wrong target audience who isn't interested in our books. So while virality can be great, and certainly targeted virality has done wonders for me in terms of book sales, specifically on TikTok when I've had millions of views to the right people, it can be amazing. But make sure that whenever you are creating content for these platforms, especially if you are working on creating your author brand, you really want it to be people that are interested in your content and your books. Because if you post something completely unrelated on your author page and it happens to blow up, which is great, now you have a bunch of people following you for that type of content. And the minute you start talking about your book or talking about something that might be related to your genre, it's going to be cricket and lower your engagement rate a lot, which can further stunt your growth in the long run. So yes, growth is great, but the right people seeing your content is the most important thing. So tip number two leads me to tip number three, which is to really try and use all the different features of a platform, especially when a platform releases a new feature. So when TikTok released the ability to swipe through a carousel similar to Instagram, I came on here and made a video about that because that is a big change and TikTok was really pushing those carousels for a while and still seems to be. It's a great way to try a different style of content and try a new feature that could have more potential to get seen by a greater number of people. And that goes for any platform that you use on social media, trying to focus on a couple and pay attention to when there are new features. If you go on an app and a little box pops up and tells you about a new feature, that's something to pay attention to and try to incorporate it into your strategy. These platforms main goal is to keep people on the app and keep them entertained and scrolling through the content so that they can be seen more ads or purchase, you know, in the case of Instagram or TikTok shop purchase within the app. And so putting out quality, engaging content is going to put you in good terms with the algorithm because you're keeping people on the app and keeping them entertained. And so not only posting valuable content, but trying to have a consistent style 
that is recognizable can be really beneficial in growing a powerful author brand. Now, I talked about the importance of an author brand and kind of what that all means in a recent video, so I'll link that up here as well. But really having a consistent style, voice, colors, fonts, that people recognize. There are so many people that I follow on Instagram or other social media platforms that whenever I'm scrolling, before I even see the person's name, I know exactly who it is. And that is a wonderful thing when people can recognize us immediately based off of how strong our personal brand is. So I really recommend consistency, not only with posting, but with the style that you're posting as well. Mixing it up, of course, trying new things, but making sure that at the end of the day, your voice and your colors and fonts as a brand really shine through. The next tip for growing your following on social media is to cross promote to other marketing platforms that you use as well. So in my world, I always recommend one to two social media platforms, and then at least one other platform that you own. An email list would be a great example of this, where you own that list, that data, and no one can take that away from you in case a social media platform were to go down, for example. So stick to one to two social media platforms so that you can go all in and not be so overwhelmed by all of the different post types that you can do across social media platforms. And it really just helps you be able to focus on those platforms, what's working well and repeating that. But then with your other platforms, be cross promoting back and forth. So you want to get people off social media to your email list, but there also could be people that joined your email list from other places that you can get onto social media as well. So in your newsletters, you can occasionally reference a valuable Instagram post and link to it or tell your email list that you're announcing your cover reveal on this platform and go follow me there so you don't miss it. And the benefit to that is that the more places you have your loyal readers following you and engaging with you, the more likely they're going to be to buy because they're familiar with you, they're seeing different types of marketing content from you, and when that book comes out, they're going to be ready to buy. Okay, so now for a few quick tips for more engagement and follower growth on social media because engagement is so important. Again, we wanna keep people on the app, so if they're leaving a comment on your post, responding gets them back on the app with the notification, but it also shows them that you are engaged and want to chat with your followers and your readers. So of course, a well-known one would be respond to the comments as best as you can. You can respond to people's comments with a video on TikTok and Instagram, which can be a really engaging way to show not only them that you respond, but also everyone that follows you that you respond and people will be more likely to engage and leave comments. Another thing you can do is go to other people's pages in your niche and leave comments for a few minutes a day or every other day. It doesn't take a lot of time, but it helps get your name out there. And some people might come and follow you right away or check out your content, but it really is a great way to start getting your name and your books in front of more people. One thing that I really like to do on Instagram specifically, because you can't really do it on other platforms, is in my notifications, it will show me who has shared one of my posts to their story. And you can easily just click on that and go through and like those posts from your readers who are sharing to their followers as well. It's just a really quick way to show appreciation for sharing your work. You can always respond to their story with a thank you for sharing. And that just kind of furthers that connection and also encourages them to keep doing it, which in turn can bring more people to your page. The other thing that I've been experimenting with more is putting different types of call to actions in my captions on social media. So whenever you're doing a promotional post, of course you want to share the title of the book and where people can buy it. And that would be your call to action. But there are also other types of calls to action you can use when you are not directly promoting your book that can boost engagement. So a couple examples could be asking a question in your caption to get people to respond in the comments. One that I've been using more and more lately is just giving people a word to comment. So for example, with my new freebie, I said comment the word freebie if you want me to send you the link directly. And lots of people commented freebie. On my author pages, I've also done this. Comment your favorite flower if you resonated with this message today. Things like that can get people to leave more comments because you're giving them directly what you want them to say. Sometimes when we leave things open-ended or give too broad of a question, people won't answer because they don't want to type out a whole thing. Of course, some people will, 
but it's less likely than whenever you give a very specific thing to comment. The last thing I want you to remember is that these things take time. Whenever you are switching up your strategy or starting something new, it can take months to start to see results, which is why I recommend that any marketing strategy, you stick with it for a few months before you decide that it's not worth it. In the case of organic social media, it has absolutely changed my life and my career as an author. That's why I'm really passionate about helping other authors do it as well. And now I've worked with 2000 authors who have used my courses or guides or worked with me one-on-one -on -one to see more growth and sales on social media. So it's been amazing. I am working on a deep dive social media course that's going to be out soon. And again, if you want to be a part of my sale Monday through Thursday of this coming week, be sure to get on my email list because I will not be posting another YouTube video until next weekend once the sale is over. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please be sure to give it a like if you found this helpful and subscribe so you don't miss videos from me in the future. Have a great rest of your week and don't forget to promote your book this week. Bye.